Today, I'm going to be removing the spokes from this giant OEM wheel, and I'm also going to talk about the difference between a restoration and a rebuild. Keep watching, and we'll figure it out together. <laughs> So here we go, I'll just uh, spin it out and do a quick little inspection. I thought I made a short for it, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> so as usual, what I'm going to do is start loosening off the non-drive side spokes first because they have the least amount of tension and because this is a rear wheel, it is just going to make it easier for us in the long run. So I made some uh, changes in my video quality. I was able to acquire a recent iPhone, which I find has the best video quality. So now I'm going to use it. <laughs> My old phone was, well, let, let, let me talk about this. I basically, I just wanted to start my channel by spending no money at all. Uh, YouTube basically, it's, it's all about spending your money. Like you look at the big guys and they're spending money. So, um, I wanted to try to do it without spending any of my money, but Really, I found that the qual I, I found that the quality of the iPhone video is just as good as any camera. So why not? All right. So now the reason I want good quality video is because what I'm doing is essentially dismantling. So I'm removing the spokes from wheels and then I'm rebuilding. Them. So you know I, I call them hub swaps or I call it uh, wheel strips. But in essence, all they are is me just removing the spokes from a wheel, cleaning it, and then rebuilding it normally with a different hub. There, I just tried a little bit of uh, camera magic. <laughs> uh, okay, so now what I do, I consider to be rebuilding. And there are a lot of, let's call them bike flippers or people searching who are using the word restoration uh, to a, as an umbrella term and that's not necessarily so and I think that there are a lot of restoration professionals who might uh, take offense to the way that some people use it I suppose it's like saying OCD uh, the way people throw that around and uh, you know OCD people they uh, they don't like it <laughs> people who are actually living with OCD uh, I, I guess they feel it's belittled but I digress <clears throat> so there are a lot of guys, for example, in, in my city, there are these guys who consider fixing up a bike a restoration. And that's just not so. And in, in my opinion, it's not so. And I don't think that it should be called that. If you're repairing a bike or uh, refreshing a bike, then you should just use that terminology. That restoration is, it, it really is a, a different uh, animal. Now, I've done one restoration here. It was on a 40 year old set of ambrosial wheels I got off, uh, I think it was an old Fiori or something like that. Now anyways, what I did is I removed all the spokes from the wheel and I cleaned the rim, cleaned the spokes, cleaned the hub, and then re-spoked it. And these are different terms as well. Uh, lacing a wheel, spoking a wheel, it, it means the same thing. And Really, I think in the industry, people are going to say strip a wheel rather than dismantle or remove the spokes from. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of uh, prepositional phrasing there and it's sort of unnecessary. And there we go. Sometimes the uh, nipples get stuck on the nipple truck. <laughs> eh, it's thought I'd show you. Now, anyways, so what I've done is I just rebuilt them properly and it was actually a, a good way for me to use the Sheldon Brown style of lacing and you can see those videos right here if I remember to put up the cards. <laughs> Anyways, now when you think of it in that way, it's sort of halfway because really a restoration is trying to bring something back to its factory condition. So it's pre-sale condition, I guess is the way of putting it. And I've moved on to the drill here and we'll see how, how quickly uh, it goes. I did the first half basically manually uh, with the spoke wrench and the nipple driver. And now I'm going to see how quick things go with the drill just to see if it speeds anything up. There's my new battery that I got in a good trade. Anyways, back to those ambrosial wheels. And 
a restoration versus a rebuild. Those ambrosia wheels, what I did was clean them, but they were used. So it, it's impossible to bring them back to the, the factory condition. I, I suppose there are guys who can machine them, maybe bring that luster back, but that's not something that I do. And I, I suppose I use the word restoration a bit loosely. So really all I did was I like cleaned them up. But the way that I did it involves a restoration type process. And I think that's the difference. So really, I, I just consider myself uh, one who rebuilds because that's mostly what I'm doing. I, I'll take things apart. I'll take wheels apart. I'll clean them up. I'll swap the hubs, turn them into what was once garbage or what was once less used or unused into something that's useful, mostly for winter wheels or perhaps on the, the old style trainers or whatever. But a restoration is something completely different. It's, it's like the example of those old cars. Um, these guys will make the parts that they need to as close to factory specs as possible. Now that's not something that I can do, and that's not something I'm willing to do, but there are guys who can basically make the rims off a 40 year old wheel if they really want it. And if anybody really wanted that, then they're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> and that's, that's completely against my channel's mantra, it's that I'm not really out to pay for anything. And really what I'm doing is I'm showing you how to do things for free all on your own. Really it's with garbage stuff that somebody has thought to throw out that they no longer wanted basically i'm just reusing it or i'm repurposing it in a way that uh, makes it useful so at this point in the wheel strip or removal of the spokes we are just going to make sure that the spokes are separated properly so there's the drive side which is what i pointed at and we'll just take them all out of one side first and put them aside because they're going to be different lengths and in case we need to reuse these spokes, we want to make sure they're not all mixed up. And I've seen a lot of guys who, uh, I guess, knew or they just don't care. And they just put all the spokes together. Now, that kind of makes them garbage because they're not the same size. And what it can do is it can kind of mess with your tensioning later if you were to reuse those spokes improperly. Now, I hope that kind of clears things up with the terminology of using restoration and rebuild in a way that that's maybe a little more appropriate. And now, why did I decide to talk about this? Really, it's because I looked at the research section of the YouTube studio page and there were people looking for how to restore a wheel. And I guess it was how to restore a bike wheel, how to restore a bike. Now, there are guys who uh, it makes a little more sense to try to restore a bike because you take it apart and strip off all that old paint and it's a whole lot easier to try to bring it back to its original factory quality or somewhere along the lines. Like there's a guy I know, uh, I call him the frame builder and that's what he does. He he'll take old bikes, what he'll do is he'll strip them down and he'll paint them up. Now all I'm trying to show you is just proper ways to do things. And I can tell you, I have a lot of experience doing this and I still run into problems. Really, that, that's the motivation for the whole YouTube channel itself is because if you can see the problems that I have and that I am able to remedy, then it just makes it easier for you if you want to try to do something like this, especially with bike wheels, because it's difficult. The wheel building is difficult. It might be easy for me or for other guys who are wheel builders, but for the regular Joe, I, I think it's pretty uh, difficult. Well, it's pretty obvious because I've sort of niched myself into the whole bike wheel area and, you know, the people who actually watch, they actually watch. And I appreciate it. I think that's great. And I hope it helps. So this would be my version of the restoration of the <laughs> of the rim. I, I'm just going to clean it off as best I can. I'm not going to use any kind of cleaner or anything like that. That's just soap and water in that sprayer. And I'm just going to clean it off, clean the brake tracks, make sure that there's a, a bit of a gleam on it. And mostly it's uh, the inside of the rim where the spokes will protrude because that's almost impossible to clean with spokes in the wheel. And I'm just going to get my nipples together here. And for the most part, uh, that's it for this video. Anyway, keep my drill just sitting there. So it kind of gives you an idea of what to expect in the next video. I had done a video where I was going to do all the tensioning with the drill, but I had a computer mishap. <laughs> 
basically Microsoft Photos app or whatever ate my uh, ate all my videos. <laughs> So I had to just start fresh and uh, yeah, I guess it's a learning curve in any way you look at it. I might be good with wheels, but who's to say I'm any good with actually making videos? <laughs> but that'll come. I hope you liked the video and I hope it helps you out. I hope it clears up a little bit of uh, terminology. If you want to see another video of me stripping a wheel, you can click right here. And I'll catch you on the next one.